blowing at you, the longer it's going to play. So everybody knows they can normally do a certain meterage when they do the lead out. Uh, science is in our team uh, an important uh, part of uh, how we work. Uh, and we are here now to implement the scientific part in the practical part of our sprint train. We are now here working on the Tour de France uh, of uh, 2013 uh, to find the best team to bring uh, to the Tour. Uh, in that you need a balance between riders who can chase a breakaway and of course the real lead out. In the sprint uh, really a lot can influence the outcome of a sprint especially when uh, you see other competitors, weather conditions, uh, the parkour. And we are trying now to, with our job, to lower the effect of luck and to create more uh, chances for us to win a sprint. In a lead out train, and sprint train, every position is really, really important. Without a good train, uh, the sprinter, Marshal Kittel, John Degenkop, is not so successful. What we are doing is we put uh, the data of a sprinter, we put it in a movie so we can see what's happening and what, what moment, and we can really see what's going wrong or right. Yeah, you see here, this is a really good lead out. The speed is going up 67, 68. Now he's not yet on his peak, and now 68 is his peak, and now it slows down, of course. This was in the beginning of the season, and this was not an unsuccessful sprint, and this then was later in the season and was a successful sprint. Every rider has his own important role in the sprint train. If everybody follows, and execute the plan, then that's the key to success. I just came back from the high altitude training camp, which I uh, planned for Marcel and John. Normally, uh, an altitude training camp is endurance based, but with the information I got from Tone, we also implemented the sprint training on high altitude. In December, January, it was already a plan in the team to start with both John and Marcel in the Tour de France and yeah we know the differences but we really want to have it uh, on paper so we did a research with uh, the University of Maastricht and we looked to all the sprints of John and Marcel and compared them together and, and see what the difference really are uh, between uh, those two sprints. Some really good results uh, came from that uh, research and uh, one was uh, that we now have a, a kind of tool where we know in which race John will fit perfectly in and in which, which race is the best for uh, Marcel. To design a sprint way uh, this way is better because um, with the extra information we can make the, the luck factor in the sprint smaller and it's really the small difference can make the difference between a one race or a lost race. So uh, it's really important uh, to uh, improve the sprint train. It's a work of years to come to a level that we are now. And uh, in the past maybe uh, it was more based on experience and, 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 and luck. And now we are more and more um, implement science in our sprint train. Mm -hmm.